Okay, so here's the general formula for the um, Sabbath light approximation for degrees of freedom, um, which looks a little bit imposing and a little bit different than what we're used to seeing in AP stats. Um, in AP stats, these individual degrees of freedom are replaced with n minus 1, and degrees of freedom plus 1 are replaced with n's. And in, in AP stats, we only have two samples, so the summation is just summing these two things, and the summation in the denominator is just summing these two things. So this is the formula that we usually see in AP statistics. This is the Greek letter nu, as in n, for degrees of freedom. And then we're going to translate all of this into variables that the calculator can understand. So um, can't really do the subscripts. What's interesting is the calculator has those subscripted variables. So there is an S subscript 1 on the calculator. And so we can see the value that's contained there, but we cannot use that variable to store anything, sadly. Um, so if I try to store something in that variable, it's not going to let me. I'm going to get some kind of error message. So anyway, that's why I'm using uh, over here for the two S's, I'm using R and S, and for the two N's, I'm using M and N. So this formula for degrees of freedom turns into this, and then I'm going to write this in a quote-unquote linear format like this. Let me actually make this a little bit bigger. And so this is what we're going to try to do on the calculator. So we're going to go to the program button, go over to the new and create new. And I'm just going to call this program SATTER, S-A-T-T-E-R. When the cursor is blinking with an A, that means you're on alpha lock. So whatever button you press, you automatically get the letter equivalent of that. I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to do basically the same thing four times in a row. I want the user to input four different things. So, program IO display, and then alpha quotes, alpha S, and then the number one, and then alpha quotes. So I want to display S1 on the screen. And then I want to input S1, program I.O. input S1. But in my formula over here, S1, I'm calling R. So we're going to store that in the variable R, alpha R. So when we run our program, it's going to display S1 on the screen with a question mark for the input and whatever the user enters will be stored in variable R. So now we're going to repeat that three more times. We're going to display program IO display alpha quote alpha S then the number two and then alpha quote and we're going to store S2 program IO input we're going to store that in the variable S alpha s. Then we're going to do the same thing with the sample sizes. We're going to display program io display alpha quote alpha n and the number one alpha quote and then we're going to input n program io input but the n1 we're just going to call m. So the N1 and the N2 we're calling M and N. So we're going to input this in alpha M. And then, same thing last time, program IO display N2. So alpha quote alpha N and the number 2 alpha quote. 
and then we're going to input into program IO input and alpha N. So we're storing S1 and S2 into R and S. We're storing N1 and N2 into M and N. And then we're going to do this hideous calculation here, which I wish I could just copy and paste from Word, but sadly I can't. So parentheses. So alpha uh, parentheses and then alpha r squared divided by alpha m plus alpha s squared divided by alpha n. Close parentheses on that numerator and that whole numerator is getting squared. Then divided by then we need parentheses for the whole denominator, and then we need parentheses for this fraction 1 over n minus 1. So 1 divided by, and then parentheses for the n minus 1, which is actually alpha m minus 1. Close parentheses on that denominator, close parentheses on that fraction, and then that fraction times parentheses, alpha r squared over m, alpha m, and then close parentheses on that fraction, that whole fraction squared, plus, still in the main denominator, plus, now I have another fraction, 1 over n minus 1, so that's in parentheses, 1 over, and then the n minus 1 in parentheses, parentheses, alpha n, minus 1, close parentheses on that denominator in minus 1, close parentheses on the fraction 1 over n minus 1, and then open parentheses, alpha s squared divided by alpha n, and then that fraction squared, and then that concludes the denominator. So, that's the end of the program. To test this out, um, we had a problem in class. To test this out with the problem that we did in class, um, we had these two standard deviations with these two sample sizes, and the calculator was fitting out um, 80.17 degrees of freedom. I probably have that on here already somewhere. Um, and we did a two sample T interval. Yeah, there's my 12.4 in a sample size of 38 and my 13.3 in a sample size of um, 45. And we were doing a 99% confidence interval in class. We got degrees of freedom 80.17. So we're going to try entering that into our program and seeing if our program will just fit out that degrees of freedom. So um, we press the program button, and now from the execute menu, we execute the program called Savvy. And then notice our program is asking us for S1, 12.4. It's asking us for S2, which is, if I can this a little bit better. It's asking it for S2, which is 13.3. It's asking for N1, which is 38. And it's asking for N2, which is 45. And it says the degree of freedom is 80.1777. So that appears to be working fine.